the existential climate chaos we all are in. And the war in Ukraine share and have the same roots, and these roots are fossil fuels. Investing in fossil fuel means investing in human extinction. We don't tell goes violence follows, right? Talk about Yemen, Mali, Myanmar. All total energy is doing is bringing ecosystems that normally take our breath away to extinction. Total Exxon, ça fait 40 ans qu'ils savent qu'il y a un énorme problème, ils savent, ils savent et qu'ils mettent du doute, il n'y a plus aucun doute. Voilà le nombre d'événements climatiques extrêmes qui a déjà été multiplié par 2,5. I feel anger standing here and I feel, I feel that we should not let fossil fuel companies make a piece washing and to bolster their profits. Total, which we are sending message today and many other fossil fuel companies uh, still refuse to end trade and all businesses with Russia. Russia's outrageous war against Ukraine fully exposed how Europe is tied to autocrats and how our economies cannot run if it is not for the fossil fuels, for the oil, for the gas, for the coal that we buy from them. ECOP does not only disorganize the family, but it organizes the ecology as well. Because the pipeline goes through rivers, it goes through national parks, and this disturbs the ecology. And this disturbs the livelihood of people because people have lived in this area for generations. And when they are moved, they, they are detached to the land. To us Africans, we are attached to land. In Tanzania, land is a crucial resource for our people, and the ECOP, ECOP team has stopped our people to continue using their land. Take the picture, then imagine the life they are going through. The system repose on what? It repose on a logic colonial, a logic of predation, justement, of the de la déstabilisation d'autres régions. Et ça repose beaucoup sur la déshumanisation des personnes qui vivent dans cette région-là. Et ça a un nom, ça s'appelle le racisme environnemental. Total, however, is leading the Mozambique Energy Project. Other players involved include Exxon, Eni, EP, all the monsters you can think of in Cabo Delgado province. A war has broken out in Cabo Delgado from 2017, which is when Total showed its face. There were, there are now 800,000 refugees in their own country, created by this war, and Total refuses to take any responsibility. Soldiers attacked community members who had received compensation and sexually assaulted women in the family in order to get this compensation money. Total knew this, and yet they paid the government extra to deploy more soldiers just to protect them. Personal, I have been arrested two times. When I was first, we had a marching, a peaceful marching, a peaceful strike, sensitized the community about the impact of eco. And then we had these legal complications and we were arrested. There's no room for civil society and there's no room for, for media. Journalists who have been reporting on the project have disappeared, never to be seen again. The action of Total and of some others is really criminal. I am deeply grateful for activists of Angola, Uganda, Namibia and many other African countries across and, and towards the Pacific countries and many more for expressing solidarity being attacked by their own conflicts as we see with the example of ECOP right now and we stand in solidarity with them.
only all together we can end the fossil fuel dependency and fossil fuel addiction that led us to this climate hostile and fossil fuel war. Companies like Total and fossil fuel companies like Total actually have to be held accountable. And then to our comrades over here, you have so much power with whiteness and a European passport comes a responsibility to take take the voices of these people whose human rights are being violated daily to the decision makers who are here and to let them know that this is not okay. Be that through disruptions, be that through protests, be that through getting arrested, be that through legal action. This is, this is moving from, it's time to move from solidarity to active resistance. So take your power.